want to feel confident, but I also want to feel this love for myself that I can't feel on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? You can't just walk into work and oh, feel yourself. It'd be great and all, but I wanted to embody my femininity in a really deep, personal, and creative way that I just can't do day-to-day. Although I am completely supportive of everybody going out and living their best life and feeling themselves in their day-to-day -day world, it's not entirely possible. It's not possible for me as a woman to go out and feel as sexy as I want to feel without the world trying to take advantage of that and without somebody trying to take something from me while I'm doing that. Getting to do boudoir is getting to feel my sexuality, my femininity, without having someone try and take that from me. If I were to go out in public or just go out to dinner or a, or a club, I can't just walk around without being touched, grabbed, somebody yelling at me, trying to get my attention. They're trying to take those pieces from me. But here, on set, behind the camera, it's all for me and I get to really live it out without worrying about others taking it from me. When I have a camera pointed at me and I'm really in the moment and I'm grounded in that moment, very present, I can feel this beauty take over my body that I just can't see in the mirror or even in pictures. I can take a great picture and look at it and still not see what I feel when I'm taking that photo. So being able to feel it in that moment is all that's important to me. The after photo, that's just a bonus, right? That's just a, oh great, now we get to look at it forever, but I got to feel that. It's a phenomenological experience, really. A minute ago when I was saying I can't go out and experience my sexuality and femininity in the world, it's the same with my mental disorder. I am diagnosed bipolar too, and to a lot of people, when they hear those words, they think, oh, she's crazy. And so any emotion I feel, any experience I have from then on out is invalid because of my mental illness. Oh, she's just crazy. But when I really ground people in it and I make them look at it and listen to it, it makes it different. Like, look at this person who's carrying on with her life. She's in college, she's doing photography, she has bipolar, she talks about it. It, it forces people to normalize it. You know, in a world where I can't change biases and where I can't change the way men view women, I can change the way some people view mental health stigmas. I may not be able to beat bigotry and misogyny, but I can, I can force a couple people to be, to normalize my disorder and to realize that my emotions are still valid, my experiences are still valid just because I have a mental illness and I will show you through the work that I do how valid this experience is. And in a way, it's not so that others validate me, but it's so that I create a barrier where they can't invalidate me. Yeah, I will. I eat Bipolar Boudoir was founded on vulnerability, but I still struggle with it. I'm not a 100% vulnerable person, nor do I think anybody should be. I think we need to be vulnerable where we want to be and where we're comfortable being. And sometimes I'm not as vulnerable about my emotional experience as I want to be in fear of how other people will view or see me. But by being vulnerable in Boudoir, I am also being vulnerable in my emotions, which is why I combined the two. 
I love taking pictures of when I'm in a depressive state or when I'm in a manic state or today I'm, I'm just at baseline because then you can see where my experiences lie throughout my episodes and it is that vulnerability. For some reason, the sexual vulnerability comes very easily to me, which I love and appreciate, but the emotional vulnerability is where I struggle. And I thought, what better way to really strengthen that than to combine sexual and emotional vulnerability. Yeah. Absolutely. I definitely think that somebody could use boudoir, photography, just very vulnerable states to really help practice and strengthen that vulnerability, but they have to go into it with boundaries. So if you come into boudoir and you don't have boundaries and you don't know where your boundaries lie and you cross them, you'll become uncomfortable and then you're not having a good experience and then you're, you will feel like you're punishing yourself for your vulnerability. And that's not what we want at all. So if you come into it with a, this is my boundary, this is what I feel comfortable and okay doing, and this is what I don't want to do, and that's perfectly respected, then it's incredibly empowering to be able to release yourself fully within your own boundaries and not have anybody try and move that boundary line for you. Especially having a mental disorder, I could wake up today and feel great and help hundreds of people and I would love to do so and I will spend that energy and that mental currency there. But on days that I don't have it, I can't. And I think that part of having a mental disorder but trying to still live a life like this, it's all about day by day. It's about can I do anything today? If I can, let me do it to the fullest. And tomorrow, if all I can spend energy on is myself, that has to be okay. That has to be okay with me, that has to be okay with my followers. It just has to be. And yeah.